The new Smash Fighter has been announced in a brand new Nintendo Direct that just dropped. We talk about everything here. What's happening, my blocked buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. We can all rest easy because the newest character for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's Fighter Pass number two has been announced. There are a few caveats. I mean, this is incredible news already because a Nintendo Direct Mini just dropped online like 28 minutes long out of nowhere. I mean, you can all go and watch it after this video. It's insane that this much information has been announced right now and just a direct mini and it's really cool because through this time this dark time that we've been experiencing we thought that it might be a while but to at least have something to at least have a lot of reveals going and to have Nintendo you know spread the positivity around is so amazing but also the fact that we have some new Smash Brothers news now I have a lot of problems with this reveal and there's a lot that I totally love about this reveal as well so I'm feeling a little bit mixed at the moment but my hype is kind of taking over because more Smash Brothers this news is always good, so I get to talk about everything right now, and I've been answering all of you guys' questions about Smash Ultimate and the new fighters in our show Question Blocked, where I answer your questions. You know, what do I think of your character pick, or how do you start making videos on YouTube? Whatever you can think of, send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com, and I will answer your question live on the show in our next Question Blocked episode. And here's a brand new giveaway. You can win one of these Super Mario Surprise Capsules. There's a little character inside. We already opened one of them, so there's one that you can already find out who it is in our previous live stream. Like this video, subscribe to Blocked Content right now, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below to enter for the giveaway. All right, guys, let's get into the main topic of today. And yes, that Nintendo Direct Mini just dropped, and it actually had so much interesting information. I mean, just when it dropped, all of the information was just spread out there immediately. It wasn't a live stream. It was just a video that was dropped. So, you know, you could either scroll through it and kind of see what it was, but I really went for it. You know, I put it on full screen. I chilled out and I just watched it by myself. It was really amazing to have kind of this little moment and they really don't do that anymore. But when Smash Brothers Ultimate popped up in there and I get to talk about all the rest of this direct. So don't worry, you know, in a later video, I'll, you know, detail everything that was in there and even some hidden Easter eggs that you might not have found already. But yes, when Smash Brothers Ultimate popped up, I knew this was going to be a different kind of direct. I actually thought this was going to be a character reveal in a very traditional sense, where we would just get a trailer, and not even that happened. Um, a little bit of a different thing happened there. We actually got a character announcement for the first fighter in Challenger Pack number two, right? It's, it's the sixth character of the DLC, and we now got to find out who the next fighter is. And this was basically all there was to it, right? It was just a flashing symbol, and then it opened up a music cue, and it showed the next character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is going to be a fighter from ARMS. Yes, a first party character, just like we theorized it would be, as the first character in the second Fighters Pass. Now, this is interesting for a whole slew of reasons, but to go through the news a little bit more, yes, they basically showed off, they are having a character from ARMS, we don't know which character it is yet, and I think Nintendo knows, I think Sakurai knows, but at this moment they kind of want to keep it secret and keep us speculating. I mean, they show the full roster for the original game, and that basically is already really intriguing and interesting. Why would you not show one character? Why would you not? Oh, why would you show all of the characters? Why would you not just show the logo? And why is this being kept a secret if the character is already releasing quite quickly? Yes, I said that right. Releasing quite quickly because this fighter's arms can extend, so the release date had to be extended a little bit. So we might have even gotten this character earlier, but we are getting a fighter from arms in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate available this June. Yes, in June, we'll actually find out who the character is, and of course, that's going to be E3, so we already know what the E3 reveal is going to be, and maybe one more character, or maybe not, but yes, this is going to be the big guns, right? The big arms available this June, and they also announced that the character will be playable, and will be 
purchasable this June. So you can actually play as one of the characters from ARMS. Now, to theorize a little bit about what this all means, right? I mean, our heads are exploding with who this character could be. Why would they keep it a secret? Well, there's a lot of reasons. I think the number one reason is because of everything going on in the world right now, the character is not finished and Sakurai's initial pitch and, you know, the conversations about this character that couldn't even go on. I mean, Sakurai talked about this at length in his own column, and he actually said, you know, this week I was scheduled to have a meeting with a developer about a character, about an IP, but, you know, we have to put that on hold, so we have to put characters on hold. That is going to be the exact same situation here, and it really feels like this was the character that he was talking about, which is strange, you know, I always say that these characters have to be finished far in advance, maybe months in advance, and with the character dropping in June, that could certainly still be the case, but it really feels like all of this kind of coincides with one another, right? That this information that we heard about Sakurai's column wasn't just per chance. So seeing all these characters lined up together makes you think, what will, you know, what will the character be? Will they have one character and will it just be Springman who's also an assist trophy? Well, that doesn't seem very likely at all, but I do think there is a chance that we will play as Springman. And I think that that shot is very easily disguised by the fact that they really went all out with this development. I think one of two things is going to happen. My number one prediction is that we are going to get a female playable character out of ARMS because, you know, it's been a long time coming. We don't really have a female playable character in that Smash DLC. You could argue for Kazooie, you could argue for female Byleth, but I just don't think that that's really a featuring role. And I think that it might be happening here because they have the full control. Sakurai might have pitched it that way, or it might just be a very interesting choice to do. My other decision here is that probably it's going to be every single character. Yes, they all have different moves, but maybe they are going to make a certain specific, simple move set for all the characters that everyone can use because their mobility is all the same, you know, and I feel that that is the Sakurai choice to make here, especially if you take into account that they showed every fighter in those little window boxes. I mean, it would not make any sense to show them and then ultimately not, you know, use any of them, right? It does make sense. They might actually have a stage from ARMS where you can see all the fighters in there cheering or something like that or fighting in the background, but I actually believe that there's a huge chance that we might be playing as Springman or Ribbon Girl. We might be playing as Ninjara or Master Mummy. We might be playing as Min Min or Mechanica. There's a chance we'll play as Twintel or even Bite and Bark. Yes, Kid Cobra could be playable in Smash and even the crazy Helix, right? There's a lot of possibilities for all of these characters, and but I do really feel like, yeah, it's a lot of trouble to go through. And, you know, if we can single one character out, I don't think it's going to be Springman because he's already an assist trophy. And if Springman is going to be playable, it's going to be because all of the characters are playable, right? So I really don't know too much about ARMS. I've played a lot of it. And actually, at the time that I worked for Nintendo, I played a lot of it too because I had to instruct newer players, but I haven't followed anything after that release or the tournament scene or anything. So I really need a lot of information from you guys in the comments right now. Let me know who would be the most fitting character for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate out of the entire roster. Do you think every character could be playable? That there are just different skins? like the Koopalings, or do you think there's one specific character that is just made for Smash Brothers? So let me know in the comments down below because I'm super curious and I want to talk all about speculating who this character is. I mean, it's very certain that Sakurai wanted us to speculate, so yeah, let's just do it all, right? So I'd love to hear what you guys think of this crazy news of this Nintendo Direct that dropped today. So if you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And I'm going to be doing something different. I'm actually not going to be reading a comment comment question from our videos, but a comment question from Nintendo's official video of that Nintendo Direct, just so we can keep the conversation going about this. It's from Nick saying, why would they add a character from ARMS? No Breath of the Wild 2 news? 
I personally don't have any big hope at this time since Japan has over a thousand cases and the Tokyo Olympics has been delayed. It will be much easier for them to add a first party character than adding characters from third parties at this moment. But I literally forgot ARMS is the thing before this. So Nick, thank you of course for commenting. Of course that was the Nintendo's official video and not one of ours, but you're welcome to join our blocked content. But I wanted to single this one out just because it's very interesting, right? The character from ARMS, no Breath of the Wild 2 news could be seen as negative to some people, right? Why isn't this, you know, a big third party character to hook us in for that fighter's pass? I could see a lot of people not going for the fighter's pass now because, yeah, they don't really know if what they want is going to be included and for a lot of people it is the top of their list a third party character because you can't just whet our appetite with all those crazy cool third party crossovers with a first fighter's pass and not follow through on it later right and byleth just being the end of that seems like a very tone deaf decision so i get that side of the argument too no breath of the wild 2 news is not all that surprising to me i think that it's going to be E3 when we find out a little bit more and I think the release is going to not be this year but 2021 and of course yes everything that's happening in the world right now is delaying literally everything in the entertainment industry and beyond so yes smash having delays like this you know we have to extend the deadline right like the arms extend it makes sense so let's all kind of you know bundle up together and say we totally appreciate this situation, we totally understand what's going on, and we can't wait for the character dropping in June, because it's actually a very exciting prospect to play as a new fighter this quickly already. And yes, ARMS wasn't really on the top of anyone's list, especially with the character already having an assist trophy, right? The franchise already having representation in Smash Brothers. It just feels a little bit strange, right? So uh, that decision was maybe a marketing decision with possibly some more ARMS on the way. So I'm really curious if you guys have any thoughts on this, right? And thank you so much for sending in your comments. These are always so much fun to read through. And of course, a big shout out to our latest Patreon supporters and the Super Chats during our live streams. You guys make blocked content possible. So if you want to have yourself created in pixel art, join us for discussion or have your own ideas become animations, go to patreon.com slash blocked content. There's a bunch of incredible rewards there and they're waiting for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, hit subscribe now, smash that like button and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.